Hi, and welcome to my channel. I style rooms in unexpected ways using my own artwork, and this one is under six minutes. I'm Liz, a watercolor surf artist and interior stylist, and one of the questions I get all the time about my artwork is, how do I hang it, or how do I style it? So today I'm gonna to show you how to style this piece in an interesting combination of masculine, feminine bohemian, and coastal. We're gonna start off in Canva like we normally do, and you can see that I was trying to put together a completely different room with a completely different art piece. Um, but this is the beauty of just playing. I love that things never turn out the way you expect them to. When I put these rooms together, I never start with a plan. Inspiration usually comes from one piece, like an accent chair or a rug. And this time I just typed into Google something like cool furniture. And usually that's a good place to start for me because I'm pretty sure Google knows that I like really weird and unique furniture. These chairs are from Pottery Barn, which I, I love Pottery Barn, but it's not my first place to go to for um, really unique and interesting furniture. But I really, really, really loved these stripes and I really liked the contrast. So I went with my gut. To create some balance in the room, I wanted to pull in a different type of material, a different texture. So I went with a leather couch, and I think that it helps to create that sense of balance in terms of color and texture. I wanna back up a second and just give a moment to this rug. It's from Revival, and I cannot say enough about Revival. I chose this rug because it has everything. It has the red from the chair, it has that gray tone from the chair, and it has this pink peach tone in it that I wanted to bring in um, because if you look at the artwork, the surfboard is that really nice um, pink color. So I wanted to call that out, and also the blue border helps to tie in the painting as well. Onto these windows. I really love adding architectural elements like this um, because I think it just helps to give a sense of dimension and depth to a space. Otherwise, this fun little experiment just turns out really flat and boring, I think. How about these tables, though? Thank you, Jonathan Adler. Sometimes I can't tell if Google is actually curating these rooms or if I'm doing it because as you can see right now, I typed in, I don't know, cool accent lamp and this came up and immediately, boom, I'm in love. Gotta have it, I'm using it. No questions asked. Sometimes I do weird things that I can't really explain, like searching for a floor lamp after I just found like the coolest light ever. But then I do search and I find something like this and I have to use it. But you'll see in a second, I struggle to find a place to put it. And when you're working in this really flat space, you just have to play around. And sometimes you have to get rid of the thing that you love the most. So goodbye, beautiful, perfect, lovely floor lamp, and hello to this beautiful, lovely, perfect bonsai tree. My intention here originally with the floor lamp was to add a little bit of height to the room, but as you saw, the lamp wasn't working, and so the tree serves the same purpose. It gives the room height and dimension, sort of how the windows give the room dimension. What happens a lot of the time, and you're watching me do it right now, is I'm sort of struggling to place things. I'm struggling with this really flat, non-dimensional space. And sometimes it's just challenging to place things in the right spot. And then out of nowhere, my ADHD brain kicks in or my creative brain, can't tell which one, but all of a sudden I have to change the artwork. And of course, the side table and lamp go back to their original spot. And this happens all the time. You know, you end up moving things around and then you move them back to where you originally had them. And then of course, I'm realizing that the wall behind the lamp and the table just feels a little bit empty. The windows need something, the wall needs something, but I don't wanna add another piece of artwork. So here we are, I find some drapes. And look, I know red is an incredibly bold statement, but it works. You have the red stripe in the chair, you have the red touch in the rug, and these drapes just tie it all together. Sometimes when you're in Canva, um, the image that you originally pulled just isn't working. So just go back to Google, keep searching. These drapes that I ended up with are absolutely perfect. They give the same sort of vibe, like they're patterned, they're a little bit traveled, um, you know, they're not your standard red drapes. 
And once they're in, you just have to play around with the layers, play around with the length, and all of a sudden you just feel like it's the perfect space and you're done. And voila, we're finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is it, this is the completed room. I love how it turned out. And if you wanna see me style any other type of room, just write it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos. Thank you.